Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to one more game from Cairns Cup 2020, the tournament organized by St. Louis Chess Club. So uh, it's of course held in St. Louis, Missouri, USA, and it's tournament for the women. And as St. Louis Chess Club stated, it's the strongest women tournament in the history. So um, let's see how it's going. In the last game, I show I was very impressed and I showed the game of a young Carissa Yip from USA. She's 16 years old. She lost to Alexandra Kosteniuk. Um, you know, that was um, the world champion uh, a couple of years ago and, um, and a much more experienced player, of course. Uh, but I was pretty impressed, so I wanted to see how Carissa Yip is doing against the strongest women in the world. And uh, we have um, that opportunity to see that because she just played against Valentina Gunina from Russia, who won the first edition of Kerns Cup in 2019. And uh, she was better um, than Alexandra Kostyeniuk, Irina Krush. Nana Zagnidze and Harika Drona Valley. So pretty impressive in the last year. And I wanted to see how uh, Carissa Yip play against uh, Valentina Gunina uh, this year. This is the second edition of the tournament. And now uh, Carissa Yip is 16 years old and her actual ranking 2412. And that gives her um, 51st place uh, in the world among the uh, the best women players and uh, what's more important maybe it's interesting fact that when she was 10 years old she won f uh, against the grandmaster so uh, that's a pretty great achievement uh, yeah, can you imagine the 10 years old girl uh, playing in the serious tournament and winning against the grandmaster so that is like wow that's that's why uh, you know she catch my attention and uh, valentina gunina 30 years old a much more experienced player from russia her ranking is 2461 and that gives her the 50 uh, 25th position uh, in the world uh, by ranking according to the feeder list and um, let's jump into the game uh, Valentina Gunina play as black and uh, Carissa Yip open as white e4. We have knight f6, so Aliehin defense and e5. Knight d5 and d4. Uh, d6, knight f3 and here d takes on e5, so uh, quite early in the game. That's the Larsen variation. We have knight on e5 c6 by gunina and bishop on e2 bishop f5 um, and castle by carissa yip knight d7 uh, and here c4 so kicking the knight knight b4 that's the best spot for the knight and now we have knight on d3 so asking uh, what to do with the pieces the pieces can be exchanged uh, what's the pop most popular continuation for black but here gunina play e5 and it's pretty uh, aggressive move i don't see this move uh, in my database uh, so definitely uh, one of the you know preparations by gunina and here we have rook on e1 so um, now this rook is a uh, in very um, interesting uh, open file, semi-open so far file. Uh, so bishop on e7 blocking the file. Uh, but now we have knight on b4, so unblocking again, but this bishop now attacks the rook. So uh, we have bishop on d2 and now queen a5 so putting more pressure uh, here on the uh, on the bishop and now we have knight on c3 and things start to be very interesting now e takes on d4 now and bishop on g4 is the strongest continuation and i will show you for some reason bishop on g4 if bishop on e6 is played then bishop on e6 f takes on e6 and now a3 first and after bishop on c3 only now rook on e6 with check king f7 and now bishop on c3 
with attack on the queen and the bishop can't be taken uh, because a, a queen can take on d7 and of course uh, win the game so that's not the option queen f5 would have to be played and then queen d4 uh, and and now of course um, there are a lot of threats and and this rook can't be taken uh, so white stand much much better and the rook can't be taken actually if a uh, king takes the rook then we would have rook on e1 and then after king f7 queen g7 with checkmate so uh, bishop on g4 would be much better for white that's why i show you this continuation but we have a3 first um, by carissa yip and bishop on c3 and now we have bishop on g4 with check uh, so if bishop on e6 then we already know the continuation but it's slightly different now uh, we have bishop e6 um, in the game and now bishop on e6 and of course this can't be taken because the continuation is winning for white so uh, here bishop on d2 could be played uh, but we have castle on the queen side so bringing the king to the safety and now we have a b takes on c3 we have d takes on c3 and now both of bishops are attacked so uh, white actually has to choose what to do uh, so white uh, decide to preserve the light square bishop so we have bishop on c3 with attack on the queen queen takes on c3 and now rook on c1 probably bishop f7 could be played and probably would be better and you will see uh, why uh, but we have rook on c1 uh, queen takes on a3 and now bishop on h3 so this bishop i'm um, now gonna uh, pin the knight um, on d7 and here we have g6 g6 is preparing f5 if this f5 uh, pawn doesn't exist that, that there would be no problem and black king would be in troubles and now we have rook on a1 and queen c5 defending the attacked a7 pawn and here queen b3 so building the pressure on the queen side and here f5 so the bishop is blocked and it's not really great piece for now and we have rook e on b1 a threatening checkmate so we have knight on b6 and it's not easy to find um, the better continuation knight on b6 actually is recommended so um, the move is okay but it looked pretty scary now we have rook on a7 and rook on d7 and now um, the knight can't actually be taken uh, because after uh, exchanging the pieces we have checkmate on d1 so that's um, of course unplayable this is why we have g3 now there is uh, some breathing space for the king and also um, the bishop can be brought to the game uh, here we have king on b8 because now uh, you know this um, this knight is under attack we have king on b8 and um, of course if the if the knight is taken we would have queen on b6 and uh, rook on b6 and uh, and king would take just the rook on a7 so that's uh, still unplayable uh, this is why we have rook on a2 uh, queen c4 now um valentina gunina play queen on c4 Four. so picking up the the another pawn and with extra two passed pawn that would be very powerful uh, however knight c8 should be played and then after queen a4 let's say um then queen a7 and position of black is quite nice queen b3 queen c5 and white would have to find the way how to continue the game which is not easy and uh, of course white are pawned down and um, yeah they, they have to just find the way uh, but after queen on c4 the things are uh, slightly different now we have queen a3 and white actually two pawns down but catching the initiative rook h on d8 so it looks pretty scary here uh, on the first rank but we have queen a7 so carissa is attacking now king on c8 rook a on a1 so protecting the first rank 
but now knight is in the trouble so knight moved to d5 and now a queen a8 with check king c7 looks pretty scary rook b7 and now king d6 uh, we have rook on d7 rook takes on d7 and queen b8 check uh, and here um, Valentina should play rook on c7 that was probably the best continuation after queen on f8 rook e7 bishop g2 and after queen c3 rook b1 uh, white would stand better but uh, black would still handle that game uh, however uh, king e7 was played and that's actually the blunder and um, and now we have rook on e1 with check king f6 and now feel free to pause the video because this is a pretty interesting stuff now and try to find a winning tactic for white okay so try to win that game immediately while i enjoy my cup of tea okay so are you ready? Maybe not easy to find, but um, that's the motive here. So um, the winning uh, combination would be first bishop takes on f5, bang. And, uh, and now if king takes on f5, then we would have queen on e5 with check, king g4, the only move, so it's forced, and now rook on e4. So winning the queen, um, but also after king g5, queen h4, and that is also forced, king f5, queen h3, king f6, and the rook also falls, so of course uh, completely winning. And if, uh, and if we have uh, pawns capture on f5, then queen on h8 with check, king g5, queen g8, now king h5 and now queen e8 and picking up the rook, uh, king h6, rook e6 with check, king g5 and uh, queen d7 and in this position actually the engine showed the force checkmate, um, lazy to, to, to you know f follow that uh, checkmate but of course uh, it's, it's visible that uh, white has some moves like h4, uh, queen g7 so very dangerous situation here so uh, definitely bishop on f5 a very powerful move and there is uh, nothing better actually for black to play so um, uh, the rook is under attack so definitely very winning um, if if the bishop is not taken also a uh, rook on e6 uh, is coming uh, too many threats at once but bishop on f5 actually was not played. Uh, Carissa E played queen on e8 and it looks like very solid move but actually there is huge difference. This equalized the game. So it's quite dramatic now and, uh, and here we have rook on e7, the best move in the position, attacking the queen but also attacking the rook. Uh, and of course the rook is protected by the knight so we have queen on h8 and now uh, king f7 is the only continuation actually which uh, still keep the, the position equal uh, but it's not easy to find so um, Valentina Gunina had a very very hard time here and uh, king f7 we would have queen h7, king f6 queen h8, king f7, and if trying something else like rook on e7, knight e7, bishop f1, then queen on b4 and everything is fine, uh, black uh, can probably draw that um, without the rooks and it's not uh, easy to, you know, uh, progress. So um, that would be um, the continuation for Valentina Gunina, so she was in the huge, huge troubles uh, and young Carissa Yip uh, just missed the tactic, but now uh, Valentina Gunina missed the, the proper continuation and she play rook on g7 rook on g7 and now feel free to pause the video and again find the winning move uh, for uh, white while I enjoy my cup of tea one more time okay are you ready 
So this time the move is not bishop on f5. It's uh, it doesn't work this time. Uh, this time queen on d8 check. This is the best move. And now if knight uh, blocks on e7, we would have queen on d6 with check, king f7 and rook e7 check, king g8 and uh, queen d8. So uh, definitely not good to block this way. And if block uh, by the rook, uh, so rook on e7, it's um, not really better, but more difficult of course for white um, to find the proper continuation. Bishop on g2 and queen b4 defending the, um, the rook now as the defender is under attack, but now queen f8 with check, rook f7, and now rook e6 with check. So that would be uh, pretty impressive. Uh, king has to take on e6, and now bishop d5 with check, king d5, and now white can pick up the queen. So uh, queen d8 is uh, definitely the best way to go um, the other continuations are are not really great king f7 of course leads to checkmate so uh, not really great but Carissa Yip didn't play queen d8 uh, actually uh, funny story now she found the tactic a bishop on f5 and of course a uh, bishop can't be taken because after queen f8 and rook f7 we would have checkmate and if king on g6, uh, it's slightly better, but rook e6, uh, king h5, and now queen f5, and of course it's winning after uh, rook on g5, uh, queen h3, and checkmate um, on h4. So um, uh, g takes on f5, it's impossible in that position. And if king takes, um, it's also uh, impossible to play. Now we would have queen on c8 with check. And after king f6, queen e6, king g5 in very similar fashion, rook e5, king h6, and now queen h3, queen h4, and queen h4 with checkmate. So the bishop can't be touched. This is why we have queen on c3 attacking the rook. Uh, and here we have queen on f8, uh, but it's still not enough. Uh, king g5, now we have h4. Actually h4 um, giving the, it's, it's, it's good attacking move of course with check, but uh, doesn't give the opportunity to, to, you know, checkmate on h4 like before. Uh, so h4, king h6 now is um, uh, possible here, so uh, king actually found the shelter. Now we have rook on a6, so uh, this pawn is pinned now, and a queen on e1, and this is decisive blunder uh, by Valentina Gunina. Uh, the only proper continuation is trying to exchange the pieces. So for example, queen on b4. And if queen on d8, then rook on e7. So trying to exchange the pieces, queen f8, rook g7, and white have to try to find some way of playing, um, but not really easy. So, um, so, so that was the, the, the only option here. But playing queen on a1 adds a blunder, and I show you why. After queen goes on a1 with check, we have queen on g2. And now there are no more possibilities of going to b4 and trying to exchange the pieces and control the important squares. We have a queen on a7, so bringing defender on the 7th rank, but actually it's not enough. We have bishop on e4 now attacking the knight, so we have queen on d7, but now queen f5. So uh, this pawn is actually pinned and now checkmate is coming, so we have queen on d8 defending. However, now we have rook on c6 and now um, the knight is under attack, so we have knight on e3. Actually, uh, here Gunina could resign the game, but for some reason he still continue to play. So she play knight on e3. We have f on e3, queen d2 and now queen f2. 
uh, and here we have rook on d7 so um, already the minor piece down and the pawn and now we have queen on d2 rook takes on d2 and king f3 so uh, gunina is still playing now we have rook on d1 uh, rook on c7 rook f1 and king e2 rook f8 g4 rook h8 actually this uh shortened the, the time uh, then rook f7 and now this rook can come to defend h4 and checkmate faster so we have rook on g8 g5 we check king h5 rook f4 and now there is nothing to do against the checkmate so valentina gunina resigned in this position so actually she played without the the piece uh, for so long time so at least in my opinion she could give the carissa yip uh, you know to to deliver a checkmate um, that would be very very nice nice and fair play I'm not sure why Valentina Gunina played for so long time uh, with the piece down, um, but maybe she was frustrated because, you know, this was festival of missed opportunities. So Carissa uh, Yip could win uh, much faster, but also Valentina Gunina had the chances to, to draw the game uh, for a couple of times. Maybe she tried to win and uh, I'm not really sure. I, I haven't seen any footage from the tournament, uh, but if you know, feel free to leave the comment and, and say what happened. And of course, if you like this video, press a like. And if you don't like for some reason, press unlike. And uh, if you want to see more games from Cairns Cup uh, 2020, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to don't miss any videos. And of course, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.